Years ago, uh, Chelsea won the Europa League after coming down from the Champions League. But this is the first group stage Europa League game at Stamford Bridge. Is this something you're you're proud of? Yes, of course. Uh, I think that uh, Europa League is a very important competition. And so we have to play very well tomorrow because uh, we, we, we have to play against uh, a good team. They have uh, played very well in the, in the first uh, match uh, of the group stage. They were a bit uh, unlucky, I think. So it's, uh, it's very important uh, for me to play in Stamford Bridge for uh, an European match. After you played in Greece, you came and played West Ham on the Sunday but couldn't win. Do you think there might be an impact on the game <coughs> at Southampton in the wake of playing on Thursday night again? But, uh, I don't know. I, I don't think uh, that uh, in West Ham uh, we haven't uh, won uh, for the match in Greece. <coughs> we have changed uh, a lot of players. And so I don't think uh, that the, the reason uh, was uh, was that. Uh, of course, tomorrow we need uh, to change uh, some players because uh, we have spent uh, a lot of uh, mental energy and uh, physical energy in uh, two matches against Liverpool. And then after this match, uh, uh, we have to play again in 60, 62 hours. So I think that tomorrow uh, we need uh, to change. Uh, I don't know how many how many players, but we need to change. What's uh, finally more important to you, finishing the top four or winning the Europa League? I think that uh, at the moment for my club uh, it's more important uh, uh, to be in Champions League. play the Champions League is uh, more important uh, at the moment, but uh, uh, I want to, to arrive uh, to the end uh, in Europa League. Moose? Um, first of all, what's the team used for tomorrow? Well, I, I have to, to speak to Pedro. He's doing uh, better, like uh, Loftus. And so I think that uh, tomorrow uh, every player uh, is available. Uh, I don't know. Uh, as I said before, I have I have to change uh, I, uh, five, six, seven players. Uh, I don't know at the moment. Uh, I want to see the training uh, in the afternoon. I want to see the last uh, training uh, tomorrow morning. You got a big squad. So do you consider yourself one of the favourites to win this tournament? Well, I don't know. I don't know. We want to arrive to, to the end. Um, but I don't know. Europa League is a very unusual competition. Uh, because at the moment uh, we don't know uh, the names of all the opponents. In the second round, we'll arrive uh, eight teams uh, from the Champions League. Uh, so I don't know. It's very difficult, but uh, we want to arrive uh, to the end of the competition. And last one from me. Can you, can you explain, if you were in the Champions League, you would play possibly tonight and then Saturday. The same difference as playing Thursday and Sunday. And you know, teams that play in the Europa League always seem to have a problem or struggle with playing Thursday, Sunday. Why is that? What? It's the same time difference. I think that uh, uh, it's more difficult because uh, in uh, Champions League uh, usually you have uh, 80 hours from a match uh, to, to the other match. In, uh, in Europa League, especially in England, uh, uh, we have only 60, 64 hours. Uh, and so it's more difficult. 
Uh, in Italy is a, a little bit uh, different, especially when uh, you play uh, away in Europa League, because uh, you can ask to, to play on Monday night. And uh, in Italy, usually, if you if you play at home on uh, Thursday, you play uh, on Sunday, but uh, at eight o'clock, nine o'clock. So I think that in England is more difficult. Andy. Mauricio, hi. Um, much gets said about the fact that you've not won a trophy as, as a coach. Does that bother you particularly? And does the Europa League offer you your best chance to actually do that this year, do you think? But, uh, I don't know. In Italy, it's not very easy to win a trophy. In the last uh, seven, eight years, uh, I think that uh, only Juventus uh, won uh, a trophy. So it's very, it's very difficult. Um, in England, uh, uh, it's difficult because uh, in England uh, we have uh, six, seven teams that uh, uh, can win. So it's very difficult, but. Uh, I, I am here to win. I want to win. I want to win something, and uh, I hope to be able to do it. Doesn't keep you awake at night. No, no. Uh, I need uh, to to sleep uh, for eight hours every night. Otherwise, uh, I am in trouble. <laughs> Simon. Please say, um you left Hazard out completely in the first game. Will he play any part in the group stage? And secondly, will Abdu or Hudson Adori feature tomorrow? I don't know. Uh, for sure, not uh, both. O or Hazard or Odoi, uh, I think. But. Um, I don't know at the moment. Uh, as I, I, I said a couple of weeks ago, uh, the, the period from the first international break and the second for me is my precision. So I'd like to, to, to see every player in this period. Uh, maybe tomorrow the, uh, it's time to see uh, Loftus, I think. I don't, know, I don't know for Odoi at the moment. Liam? Maurizio, um, how confident are you that Ruben is, is fully fit now and, and ready to contribute to the first team? And, and how unfortunate is it for him that he seems to get injured when he has an opportunity to, to play? No, he, he was unlucky in the last, uh, in, in the last uh, three weeks. After the the match with the national team, he had the problem. Uh, but in the in the last uh, five six days, he, he has been better. So I think that uh, he is able to play tomorrow. Could be quick. Yeah. Okay. Have you had a chance to discuss with the club and, and your players about the captain? No, no, not at the moment. But uh, I think uh, I will have a meeting with, uh, with the club uh, at the beginning uh, of the next week. So, Mauricio, I wanted to ask you about Cesc Fabregas trying out the Jorginho type role. Uh, how do you think he did, and do you think he'll be a good option? <laughs> Yes, I think so. Uh, I think very well, very well in the last uh, 30 minutes uh, in Greece, and uh, very well for 90 minutes in uh, in Liverpool. He has to improve the physical condition, of course, but I think that uh, he is a great option. Uh, in this position. You're changing his style of play a little bit, I think. 
Is, is that true? Uh, not, too, not too much, because uh, Sesc uh, is very good uh, in moving the ball. Uh, at Jorginho, more than Jorginho. So we, we don't need uh, to change uh, the, the way of football with, uh, with Fabregas. OK, last two, Matt, and then... Mauricio, are you aware with, with Ruben Loftus-Cheek that there's been a lot of pressure and expectation <coughs> put on him at this club about becoming a, a player from the academy to, to make a career at, at Chelsea? And do you feel that pressure around him? But, I don't know the pressure. I think that uh, is normal for a player of high level, and so he has to 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 be a bit to be. He needs to get used to it. He needs to get used he to, to, it. to to get used to with the pressure. It's normal for, for a, a player of high level to have uh, pressure for the, from the club, from the newspapers, uh, from the televisions, uh, from the manager. <laughs> it's normal, I think. And um, we're, we're going to speak to Ross in a minute, I think. Ross has, has made it clear in lots of interviews that he wants to get back into the England squad. For, for, for Ross. Barkley. 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 <clears throat> From what you've seen of him so far, do, do you believe he could be in the next England squad? I, I think so. I think so because uh, he is improving uh, week uh, by week, and so I, I think that he can improve more uh, because uh, he has the potential to improve more. And so I think that. Uh, he can return in the national team. Is he playing enough to do that, do you think? I think so. He has played uh, more than uh, the last uh, season uh, in, in two months. What would you like him to, to improve? What do you think he can improve on? What areas? Uh, he had a, a, a big, uh, very serious uh, injury. Uh, one year ago, I think. And so we can improve uh, from the tactical point of view. We can improve for, from the uh, physical point of view. Uh, he, has, he, he is very, very good uh, from the technical point of view, so I think uh, he can become a, a, very, a very good player, a great player. OK, last questions. Ciao, Maurizio. Ciao. Ben ritrovato. E come sei riuscito in così poco tempo a farti apprezzare da tutti eh, in Inghilterra, dai, dai tuoi giocatori, dagli avversari, avendo fatto praticamente niente di tiro e soprattutto perché tu hai bisogno di solo di più tempo no? per trasmettere le tue idee, hai trovato un gruppo particolarmente recettizio, ancora non hai trasmesso tutte le tue idee, la conoscenza della lingua inglese ti ha aiutato, volevo capire no, no. come sei riuscito, se hai la bacchetta magica. Uh, how did you manage to get appreciated this much in England? What did you do? Have you got a special one, a magic one? I think di aver avuto prima di tutto la fortuna di, di avere un gruppo uh, di giocatori disponibili e intelligenti. I was lucky to have found a group of players who are available to me all the time and very intelligent, very clever. La fortuna di avere giocatori di qualità che ci hanno permesso di vincere partite anche senza un livello di organizzazione eccezionale. Penso che dal punto di vista tattico abbiamo ancora molto da migliorare. Non ho avuto la chiesa di qualità che ha valuto di vincere le partite, anche se tecnicamente siamo già pronti. Ok, l'ultima domanda. L'ultima la faccio su Napoli-Liverpool che si gioca questa sera. Un po' perché sei quello che conosce meglio di tutti il Napoli e perché sei l'ultimo ad aver affrontato nelle ultime due partite il Liverpool. Pensi che il Napoli sia in grado di poterlo battere o il Liverpool in questo momento è superiore non solo al Napoli ma anche a tanti? Do you think Napoli is able to win against Liverpool? E se la guarderai ovviamente. If you watch. Of course. Eh, I think that uh, it will be... In italiano. Ah, scusa. <laughs> Penso una partita difficilissima per entrambi, è difficilissima 
per il Liverpool perché giocare a Napoli è, in Champions è, è difficile per tutti è difficile per il Napoli perché il Liverpool in questo momento è veramente una squadra molto forte è difficile per entrambi perché sono due squadre che vengono da, da partite eh, particolari il Liverpool ha speso molto eh, contro di noi ma anche il Napoli ha speso molto soprattutto mentalmente penso eh, contro la Juventus quindi una partita difficilissima per entrambi aperta eh, ad ogni pronostico la speranza è, è l'azzurro chiaramente. Grazie.